What is up, everybody? We are back today with another Peterbilt video. Finally, uh, we got a little busy working on the farm in the fields, but the good news is all the crops are in and the corn's up and things are looking good. So we are back. Uh, what we're doing today, as you can see here, I got the carpet back. They really couldn't do much on it. They kind of gave up, I think, and said, they got a little bit of the stains out, but I think with a bit of work, uh, Todd and I can get those cleaned up. Most of it gets covered by seats and mats and whatever, so it'll look good. And then we are going to work on, I got all the parts to put the foot valve back into the cab. There's the floor all painted up, looking good. So the plate that the pedals mount to is pretty rotten, so Todd actually made us a new one here. I actually had to make me two, one for the other truck as well, in case it ever goes bad. So. We'll get the foot valve, the brake pedal, the pedestal for the throttle, all that stuff mounted to here. Get this back in the truck, get the carpet back in, and then we can get that ugly rotten cab off. It's just about ready to come. The thing we were having trouble was the diagnostic plug, which is here. You can see it's a bit beat up, but man was it ever corroded in this ring not inside where the pins go but the ring that locks locks it to the firewall holy shit you can see the corrosion in there and that thing would not come apart luckily we saved it though it's still usable we can still reuse it this is the one that came off the parts truck and that truck sat for like 15 years and it is like brand new so it just shows you the condition and you know how people take care of stuff. That one's probably never been off. This one you could tell somebody had off. They lubed it up and put it back on and there was no issue. So I was kind of keeping this in the cab as a placeholder when we got it painted and stuff so they didn't mess anything up. So we're ready. Basically we got everything disconnected to take the cab off. It might look like there's still wires and hoses connected but they, I assure you there's I think two Two grease lines under there that go to this remote reservoir that have to come off. And then obviously the two um, cab mount bolts. And she's ready to go. Hopefully by the end of this video we'll have this cab off. And if all goes to plan, we can get the new cab sat back on there. And that'll be a huge milestone for today. So enough talking. Let's get right into it. Well, Todd's here. What are you doing in there, Todd? Getting greasy. <laughs> Think I had a shower. So yeah, those are those two <laughs> those are those two grease lines and they are not fun to get off the clutch linkage there. But we'll get her. So we got the grease lines off and just making sure everything else is free and clear. All of these little lines and hoses and wires and just kind of getting them labeled, tucking some stuff up out of the way so it doesn't catch, but all I really have left is this line and this line. I think they're oil pressure lines, so we'll get those off. And while I'm doing that, Todd is over here. We gotta get this hood sent off to paint. There's a few things we gotta do before we send it there. And one of them is getting these fenders knocked off. So he's gonna knock the fenders off and maybe get some of these hucks knocked off for the grill surround. We'll update you in a bit. You're on video. Hi, hey, everybody. <laughs> we need a video. Well, this is pretty real now. 
She's just a set of frame rails, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And a spaghetti dinner of wires. What do you think, Kenny? Looks good. Looks good. How about you, Todd? I don't know. I don't know. We got part of it done. The big job is next. That's a huge accomplishment. I'm so happy to have that ugly piece of junk off of there. And we didn't break anything yet, so. <laughs> Give us a chance to, obviously they couldn't get everywhere when they sandblasted and painted, but whew, looks pretty good. Okay, we'll get some blocks, get this cab set off to the side, and maybe after lunch later, we'll get, get the new cab set on. And just like that, we got a fender off, we got the cab off. Got to rob, rob a few of the mud flaps. Rob a few of the mud flap brackets out of there, but but Todd, I think it's lunchtime. You ready for a sandwich or what? Yeah, Alright, sandwich time. Sandwich. So back from lunch. I went and had to take a corn load in to the ethanol. Todd kept working, he got this other fender off. He's got a bunch of the hucks knocked out all around here for the grill surround. Ran out of juice, so yeah, that's good, good progress. We're gonna leave that project for a few minutes and we're gonna try to maybe tackle throwing this cab on. I think if we can just get it set on there, then we'll get it set on the block on the back and then I'll just rearrange the force, we'll just lift up on the one corner and put it where you want. All right, buddy. All right, let's try it. Take your finger out of it, but keep your hand on the bolt in case it gets... Alright. Well, Don't move it very much. Just, just as little as you think you could probably do. I don't know how we're going to get the other side on and out, but we will try our diddly darndest. Oakley dokely neighborino. Alright. Can Cap. I look? Cab mount is in position. Bolts started. Okay, we're going to try for the second cab mount. The cab, the cab gear is off by just a hair, so we're just going to try to Wiggle it forward just a bit. Good, buddy. I think we gotta undo that back strap. Wait, now, 
Sometimes I set the nut on top or the washer on top and then put my finger through the top hole and use my finger to line the washer with the bolt. I don't even care. <laughs> That's a high That's five. <laughs> That's the <laughs> That's the The never sees high five. <laughs> Todd is losing his mind over here. Look at this. Guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, Todd we have a flipping cab on the frame. Now we are just gonna have to pick up and adjust it a little bit just to get this cab mount to kind of seat in where it needs to be, but they're both a bolt started on both cab mounts. And then we just have a block sitting in the back until we get the sleeper mounted, but that cab is sitting on there by itself on the frame, didn't think we'd ever get this far. I think I say that every video, but this is insane. Just, just look at it. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Peterbilts are neat. So, a little bit of time has gone by. Uh, didn't really film, but we've been reverse engineering all of these airlines and wires back into their original homes. We've got the Hood and trailer and engine and chassis harness hooked up. Got the diagnostic plug hooked up. Got all these airlines hooked up. This one we still got to change the fitting in the bottom. But all those ones down here are all hooked up. And then Todd was got the two grease lines for the clutch linkage hooked back up. And now we're just kind of going through and we're gonna tidy all this stuff up, but. That is what that looks like. Next step really is we gotta put this foot valve in. We were talking about this morning, we kinda side benched that job for today. But it's basically ready to bolt back in and then we can hook up all the air lines underneath to that. It goes in that hole up there. And we can get the carpet back in and start getting some of this interior stuff in. And then after that, the next project will probably be to mount the steps and the air tanks get them replumbed and we can worry about the bunk after that so making lots of progress what do you think you know what i think if you like the videos don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> all right guys you heard the man if you like the videos don't forget to like and subscribe a lot of you watching um aren't even subscribed so Hit that subscribe button, it really helps. And uh, give us a thumbs up, shoot us a comment. I love interacting with you guys in the comment sections. But I think that's all we have for you guys today. Greg and Todd, signing out.